Hey everyone, I know it's been a while. Thank you for being patient with me. I haven't done a dog with Darling in a while. And the last time I did, it was my husband, Charlie, cutting my hair. Well, I did something again with my hair. Um, seems to be the theme lately. But I decided to color my hair. Because of all the silver strands that were still in my hair and uh, the blonde at the ends that didn't quite get chopped off, I went with the E Salon's Made For You Perfect Match Color Kit. So the kit came with a 15 developer, a custom color dark brown for me. A weird sticker and then a perfect match kit with a shampoo conditioner a stain guard and a remover thing some gloves and then I ordered a color tools add-on because I didn't have these items and thought they may be handy so the color tools kit came with a brush a bunch of clips because you know a timer and then a bowl for your color. I had on hand a color protection robe that I just had been using for other projects like when Kaya wanted some random hair like the blue mm -hmm. but uh, I didn't need anything like that. I believe they did sell that as an option but I just went with what I had. One of the reasons I got the color tool kit was for this little timer because I thought it was a worthwhile purchase for more than just this application. And then these little clips were another reason because all I had were my little random hair clips and these are much more efficient. I'm going to mix my color and developer. I decided actually against the bowl and went with just the bottle because I felt like I work better with my hands than I do with a brush. So we set that aside and went straight for um, the bottle application. I think it's shaking up good. Yeah? Shaking up. Hello, Mom. Ciao. Okay. I'm going to section my hair. First things first, I applied a um, barrier cream that they provided in the kit to keep any of the excess color from staining my skin as much as possible. The 
the barrier cream was done, I took out section by section to begin to apply the color at the roots. I did call for reinforcements to help check the line at the back where I was applying the color to make sure that I wasn't too off mark. So, now we will reapply to the remainder of the hair for the rest, to the rest of it. And then, so this is the look of confusion and then panic because I had read the directions wrong. I thought I was supposed to put color on the roots for 20 minutes and then go back and apply at the rest of the hair. No, I was supposed to apply at the roots and then keep working down and let it all sit for 20 minutes, which means I had overdeveloped my roots and underdeveloped my ends. So needless to say, I had to work fast. Okay, I had successfully covered my entire head with color. I uh, filled in a couple of other spaces that I was insecure about the silver showing, and I let that sit for another 10 to 15 minutes. The um, instructions say to take the remaining color and um, to take it in the shower with me and mix it with cold water and try to um, rinse it with it. I will let you know how that goes. So. I feel like I can still see the silver gray, but not nearly as prominent. It just kind of looks like a low light highlight or something in my hair. It's definitely a lot darker, more like what my hair used to be throughout. Um, whenever I was rinsing the color out, it was thicker. It felt, for whatever reason, I guess because the, the hair shaft had absorbed color, it felt thick. Like, not in a good way, but not in a bad way. It was just thicker. Um, none of it has smelled bad, really. It's been fine, kind of pleasant. And uh, I don't like the barrier cream. It's like leaving a nasty film even after I've rinsed my face off, so. I don't know, I don't think I like that, but yeah. After a bit of time had passed, I noticed the color seemed to be fading and the silvers were sticking out, obviously at the roots, but also at the ends, I was noticing the blonde and I was just seeing silver everywhere. This was because Isalon had sent me a demi-permanent, not permanent color, so it was going to naturally fade. This go around, I just ordered the basic color kit that comes standard. I didn't need any of the add-ons because I still had the kit pieces from the last hair coloring. And this time, I was sure to carefully read the directions. Now this application is a root touch-up, so all I was supposed to do was hit along my roots where my part is and the front of my face first, and then work it into the rest of my root area only. Now I 
sped up this application process for you guys, but realistically, the whole thing only took me about 15 minutes to apply. The instruction said to stop here, however, I still had that lawn down at the end that had faded. So I decided to work some of the additional color down, like low lights, into the remaining strands of my hair. Okay, developing is finished, so we take the shampoo and conditioner and remaining color, which there was way too much left over, I'd probably mix half next time, with the gloves that were um, also sent in the kit to the shower to rinse it all out. Okay, end result. This is after having done an all over color and then a root touch up. It, it turned out really well. You can still see a lighter shade or hue where the silvers were. So it's a better blend than the natural dark and silver. So yeah, guys, that is it. I like the end product. I really actually surprisingly like the Demi color because of its fade ability. That it will, through, over time, it fades and lets some of those silver still shine through. And my daughter mentioned that it actually looks like a fad that's going on right now called, I think they're called pixies, that get put in people's hair that actually look like silver or glitter or some kind of sparkly strand is being placed in their hair. So. It's a, a fun little bonus, and uh, yeah, I give a thumbs up. If you want to try it, I'll leave a link below, and uh, if you want to check out the hair um, experience I've been having while I was trying to go gray, the link will be here or here, wherever it's supposed to go, and uh, feel free to, to check that out. Again, thank you guys for tuning in with me, and we'll see you next time.